On Saturday, 27th of March 1965, the final passenger train to Portland climbed the steep gradient on the cliff-hugging line around the island's east weirs. The first passenger train to Easton arrived on the 1st of September 1902, after 35 years of legal and physical works to complete the line. Building a railway on the notoriously unstable slopes was a formidable engineering achievement, and once opened, there were a few little difficulties. The line then plunged through the cliff face to a deep cutting in solid rock. This slender and very photogenic arched bridge was built in 1899 to carry the coastal path high above the track. In April of that year, one young construction worker had a miraculous survival after he fell 75 feet, his fall being broken by hitting the side several times on his way down. Onwards and under the Mermaid Bridge at Wycombe, where, now standing on the embankment, we can imagine the ghost of that last train running past in 1965, more than half a century ago. On its way, towards the charming little eastern station.
Once the Weymouth to Portland railway line had closed in 1965, the rails were taken up and part of the route was sold to a quarry company. They promptly proceeded to demolish the lovely Yolands footbridge, so they had to use an old crane jib as a temporary bridge for the public. They then dumped rubble in the cutting to form a quarry haulage route. That was the final nail in the coffin of one of the prettiest coastal lines in the country. But the legacy is a fine public walk through the rugged landscape of East Weirs. <laughs>